Hello, so this is our wireless crane scale. So the problem was that this one didn't come with a battery. So we added a battery and well, it was a 7.4 volt and it's supposed to be a six volt. So you kind of see where the problem is. This capacitor actually blew. So what's strange about it is on the cap that I found ground, see it's ready for 16 volts, but a seven volt blew the capacitor, which very strange. Now it doesn't turn on. So I do have replacement capacitors. So that's what I'm actually going to be replacing. And we're actually going to try out, see hopefully the board itself is not dead. I'm not sure if it's going to work. Um, but yeah, I started unplugging it and we'll see what's going on from here. Okay, you see I removed one, so I'm actually going to replace both of these because I'm not sure if this one as well is blown or damaged in some way. This one over here is far enough away where I don't think it's related to the power. It could be maybe something else, so take out this one next. Okay. So this one does looks fine, but still replacing it anyways. So you can see on the board, a little mess, but positive, negative, and it's positive, negative. So on my new one, same voltage, microfarads. The longer end is the positive end, the anode and the cathode. So positive, long end, negative, so attach them on and we'll see what happens. Okay, one done, one more to go.
to our place. Let's see how it goes. So I did some work off screen and you can see I put it back together and I made a battery, which is not the correct battery. This is this is correct voltage, but this is a 1.3 amp hour and it needs a 4.5 amp hour. So not enough current to go through, but at least we'll see if it turns on. So I just added this cable for this connector. So let's see, make sure the polarity is correct. So on this right one's black, this one's red. When you plug in so you don't mix those up. So you can see this one right here, it's red. Red plus on there. So little bit sure and let's see what happens oh my god okay so it turns on and it's kind of weird because I didn't press the on button so it just turned on by itself so a little glitchy display is probably because it doesn't have enough power but see it turns off it hasn't blown up yet you can see, hasn't blown up yet, so that's correct. And let's turn it off. So going back to the problem, like I was mentioning, this is a 16 volt capacitor and it died with a seven volt battery, which makes no sense. How did a 16 volt capacitor die with seven volts? What I think is, and I didn't make this battery, the, the other battery that was used, the person reversed the polarity and put the ground, the power and power and ground so it's shorted and the capacitor blew on this one. So the circuit's well built where power was drawn here and the capacitor sacrificed itself so the rest of the board doesn't die. Because only one of these blew. I replaced both of them, but only one blew. So it's actually pretty well built because it was able to sustain even in a short. So the problem was most likely that someone mixed up the two polarities and that's what caused the capacitor to blow. And none of the rest of the board got damaged, so now we ship this out to the customer. Alright, so thank you for the video. Bye.